We're in the midst of a bitter feud. I guess I want you guys to know this. She came into my bedroom this morning and she insulted me so terribly bad and talked about how she didn't trust people with mingly gray hair, specifically me. And I told her I didn't trust people that were extremely short, that had short legs, specifically her. She's only like barely 5'1", you That is you a guys. lie. I'm 5'1 so, and a half, and you're not even 5'5". Five five. You know what? She's I don't even get four, into it. So guys. we're working through all this, this bitter, bitter feud. We're working <laughs> through this. She talked about hairs on my chin. She just really talked about me really bad. Yes, I, I so went in. I went I, in because so, I needed to. So I don't mm. like her right now. Okay, I don't like, I don't like her, her right all now. All she does is talk about my height, and she feels like that she has the upper hand on me. That's because I can. I can look over your head. That's the upper hand. Okay, now let's get into the video. See, you see what I have to put up with? Let's get into this Ish. video. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Please your mind make you know go kill yourself. When you go make them now only got go no. You they try, you they try. Make you know go lose yourself. No go stress yourself. Cause no be you get yourself. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Nice Corner. Hope you guys are wonderful and you are blessed by the best. And y'all know what to do. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe mm -hmm. button and that bell notification so you can keep up with everything in Nice Corner. And don't forget to hit that like button. <laughs> it doesn't cost you guys anything. And I just wanted to just start this video off with thanking all of my wonderful subscribers and my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for, um, for allowing me into your space and just, you know, just all the wonderful comments and yeah. DMs that we have received. You guys are absolutely wonderful. We bless, bless the most high for you. And, you know, so I just, we find it an honor just to um, just to bring out the goodness of the Most High and really in who he is so uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for that but in today's video as you see my dear mama is with me again. I'm back again it was kind of like a Q&A video um, we're kind of going on based on the DMs and the questions that we got in the comments and you know even private messages that I received oh we were again looking at all of the DMs that she got. I mean, she got a mountain of DMs and we were like, okay, well maybe we should just like real quick, real quick video, cause it's like hot out here, you guys. We're in the sweltering heat right now because yeah. we're in the middle of, I guess you would call it maybe the mild season here in Ghana, but we're getting ready to get into the dry season, which is Hamatan. Harmatan, Hamatan? Harmatan. I think it's Harmatan. And it is, uh, it is so it's hot. hot. It's it is hot. so hot. And so then we have like, like dust sun. coming in from the sub-Saharan desert. It's, yeah. I don't like the season, guys. No, we I don't really like don't. But we're season. getting ready to get into it. So please yeah. forgive us if we, if we fan. If we fan, if we drink, if we water, drink water. And if I sound like mm. a camel as I'm drinking the water because the mic's <laughs> right here. But I know you guys feel me. Okay. <laughs> so now let's get to um, some, of the, uh, some of the questions right. and some of the comments that people made. Uh, first, I want to start out with my notes are down here on the ground. I want to start out with a lot of people asked me why did I call uh, the creator the most high and I didn't call uh, him God. And then there was another comment about why are you saying he, it's a spirit. And I agree with that. However, there are certain attributes that spirits even have. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's why I call the creator he because there are masculine attributes there that's just like with the holy spirit if you look through proverbs the holy spirit has feminine attributes and characteristics so with that being said that's why i say he you know you can agree or not agree that's fine not a problem but i call the most high the most high because he's the most high god because there are many gods. Yeah. <laughs> there are many gods. And um, I reverence him as the most high. He's higher than all of them. They're all like little peons under him. So uh, that's why we call him the, the most, most high. high. We actually call him a name as well, but that's another, another video, video. We for won't get another into that. time. <laughs> 
Also, um, we had a lot of people that were talking about how mm -hmm. the the video really resonated with them because they want they have or should I say the Most High has spoken to them right, about yeah. relocating, and that just that made us feel like yeah, this video was right on time, very timely. We really did mm -hmm. need to do it. And I just wanted to say there were a few who said that they were, you know, apprehensive or even fearful to uh, make that type of move because it's, you know, it's a major move. But I just want to say to you that I just want to say to you that those of you who did express that you were afraid, when you look at the word fear, F-E-A-R, Fear is nothing but false expectations appearing real. Mm. A lot of the things yeah. that we fear, I'm not saying everything, but a lot of the things that we fear aren't even real. They're not even real. But we have those things built up in our minds. And, and you know, as the word tells us, he didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. So we don't really need to fear anything like that. So especially if he's telling you to do it, he's got it. So don't be afraid, step out on him and trust him above everything else. You know, it's interesting you would say that because a nice number of of the DMs that I'm getting are from females, believe it or not. Yeah. And um, yeah. some males, you know, in terms of moving, <laughs> um, a lot of females. And mm -hmm. we've noticed while we, we while we've been here that there's kind of more females that are coming here than men. Of course, yeah, yeah there are men that are coming here too, but the numbers are outweighing. There's a lot of females coming here with their children, Absolutely. you know, coming here alone. Mm -hmm. And I find that really interesting. So we want to hear from you brothers out there right. that are, you know, that are maybe looking to to move or you know just kind of like we want to hear the comment section of why that is I can only speculate why that is and that's playing into what you're saying mm -hmm. kind of like you know we're very us as women we could be very emotional mm -hmm. so kind of like fear I'm not saying that guys can't be fearful either but we're kind of like the emotional ones and since a lot of us females are coming out here you know we're kind of like oh you know what am I gonna do when I get there you know will I be able to you know, well, I have to pay this and that but the off. Thing <laughs> is, but the thing is, it's the sisters that are coming, though. Yeah. Okay. The, there may be, a, might be maybe apprehension or mm -hmm. whatever, but they're facing that apprehension and because I think that's really they're, dope. they're I really coming do. here. There are more females here from the diaspora than males. Like yeah. she said, they're males, of right. course, but there are more females. So why do you think that is? I don't know. I don't know if our sisters are, are really kind of looking, searching for something. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that a lot of females from the diaspora are coming out here because they're looking for love, love and maybe, you mm -hmm. know, finding that companion. And we're going to do a video about that, too. We're going to do a whole video. So you guys stay tuned for that. Yeah, this is going to be mm -hmm. a major, major video that we're going to do about that because we need to talk about the, the, the truths and the falsehoods the mm -hmm. traps and the pluses about about that and and you know we want our sisters to be really educated about coming out here looking for love it's mm -hmm. you know it's it's kind of different you it's, know it's, it's kinda, very it's very very you know different. it has its plus sides but it also has its minuses too just like any relationship that you get into. yeah absolutely you know but, but it's kind of you're it's a also different. you're dealing with the dynamics of a relationship period but you're also dealing with the dyna dynamics of merging two cultures and that's that's difficult. not easy. But you know, as okay, you've seen in my past videos. That's not it's easy. Kind of it can be difficult. Right. Mm. So I think that, so yes, yeah, stay tuned for that because mm. I think that's going to be like really, really important. Hello, ladies. That's going to be really important. So, um, so, yes. Yeah, so that's your theory about like right. why women. That's what I, that's I, what say, I think. I, personally, I think that women kind of, like you said, are kind of looking for, for something, you know, and kind of we're just willing to almost like face our fear, even though, you know, our brothers are too, you know, there's a lot of strong brothers out there. But it's like something about women that, you know, that really is kind of like almost we, we'll just put it all out there. And this you know? that we're talking about is resonating with more females because her and her analytics, her, her, the, um, she had more 
mm-hmm. male subscribers before. Mm-hmm. But after the videos that we did, her female subscribership just yeah. shot up. And, and, like, and you that's know, now like the DMs cool. are like more, a lot They're of females more from than females. males. <laughs> and that's wonderful. Mm-hmm. You know, we love our brothers. Oh, we love the, the, the interaction mm-hmm. with our brothers. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And we love your comments as well. But we did notice that the demographic did shoot up in terms of females. Wanted to talk about exploring other countries. Make sure, and, and you know, this is just a suggestion, make sure that the Most High is telling you where to go exactly. Mm-hmm. With Ghana, Ghana is kind of like the hot button place right now. I call now. it like the Atlanta of, of mm-hmm. America. I guess you would say. I mean, this is really like since it the is. year of return, you yeah. know, everybody's turning up. There's so many videos, you know, yeah. on social media and out about Ghana. I think even, was it Conan O'Brien was even Conan here? Conan O'Brien was you even know? here. You know, I mean, so Ghana is really, really the hot the hot spot. A lot of, you know, of our um, black celebrities, you know, were here. You know, but um, like she was saying, it's really good just to explore all of your options. You know, like she said, please make sure that wherever you go, even if it's not on this continent, right. you know, that the Most High is telling you to to go there. You know, Ghana, like I've said this before, there's 54 countries that are here on this continent, That's you know? Right. So, I mean, it's good to explore all of them. Mm-hmm. You know, um, Ghana is, I've said before, even in my videos, you know, Ghana is um, good for some people, but then some people are kind of like, mm, you know, maybe I want to test the waters. Right, and some people, yeah. actually, there's some people that just downright don't like right. that. Right, so it depends so, on what you're looking for right. as, you know, that person is, that individual, what kind of, as I say, floats your boat, you know what right. I'm saying? Because even with us, when we came here, the Most High, had, I didn't say this in the other videos, but the Most High told told me that we weren't going to be staying in Ghana. That's why uh, we got a, a couple questions asking, do we own a home? Are we going to build a home or whatever? And to answer those questions, no, we won't be buying any land. We will not be buying a home because, or building a home because we're not staying here. Uh, There was a specific reason why the Most High told us to come here, and I think it has something to do with the initiative that we've started, and and that's like totally, totally cool, but I know we're not staying here. I really feel in my spirit we're going to probably end up on the east coast of the continent. So, um, yeah, just make sure that you're selecting or, or the most high is leading, I th- take that back, you to a specific place. Like she said, even if it's not here on the continent, but a specific place, because I don't want anyone to get caught up in the hype of Ghana. Right. <laughs> and, and you come here and maybe your finances are a little funny and you come here and you're like, oh my goodness, well then right. I'm just well, then here. I'm just here and I'm just and, stuck here. You know, so the case just make be. really good and mm-hmm. sure. We, you know, we love you guys and we want to make sure mm-hmm. that that you get to the right place where the Most High is sending you. Because like I said, we're gonna probably end up on yeah. the East Coast of the, uh, of the continent. We might be a few places. Right. Few, like, <laughs> pilgrims, wanderers. Right, because <laughs> the word says that, but we won't get into that. It's kind of interesting because this is, I don't know if it's Fred I or Fred One. Shout he, out to you. Yeah, shout out to you, Fred. <laughs> um, you mentioned about writing a book. It's so funny that you would say that because before I left the States, I got so many people through prophecy telling me that I'm supposed to write a book. Okay, I haven't done it yet because I was like, okay, right. I don't even know the first steps to writing a book or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I really didn't, my mind wasn't really zeroed in on writing right, a book. Yeah. So I, how many times did I get that? Ooh, I, so I many, can't even count. So many times people told me, yeah. you, you, you have to write a book mm-hmm. or you're supposed to write yeah, a book. Yeah, you're, you're going to write or, a book. Or you're going to write yeah. a book. And um, so, Fred, you mentioned that. And what's so funny about that is we, was it last weekend? Yeah, I think it was last weekend. One yeah. of Niger's uh, subscribers, as she arrived here in Ghana, and shout out to Dr. Angela. Oh, God bless you. Oh my goodness. She is such a awesome She's amazing. She woman. got in touch with Nye and she said, you know, I they <laughs> talked and she said, I just want to meet you and I want to meet your mom and I want to take you guys to dinner <laughs> so we can like sit and talk and and it was really kind of like a kindred spirit yes. type of situation. And when we were sitting at dinner, we went to Coco Lounge in uh airport. Yes. 
and the airport area. And Angela told me, she said, you know you have a book in you, right? I was like, oh my gosh, it's following me. I said, it's followed me <laughs> from America to this continent where somebody else is telling me that. So, um, and that's something I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and do, because the thing about Angela is Angela's done it before. She has published her son, and she was like, I'm here, I'm gonna help you get this book out. So the Most High is really, really amazing. Yes. He will connect you mm -hmm. with the right people. And uh, speaking of Angela, Angela told me, she said, when I watched the last video, she said, I was really kind of pissed. And I was like, why? why? <laughs> and um, she said, I had to call you as soon as I watched it. She said, I'm really kind of pissed. She said, because I felt like I wanted some more. I didn't get everything I wanted to get. She said, it kind of left me wanting more. So that's what yeah. made me decide, okay, either we're going to do a series here, which a couple other people mentioned that in, in the comments and DMs, either we're going to do a series, I'll be with Nye from time to time, or uh, Nigeria even told me you need to start your own channel. Because I, I really don't know. feel that she should really, I mean, start her own channel. Do your own platform. I don't know what direction <laughs> the Most High is going to take me in, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. You guys tell us what you, what think. you think. Okay, you your family, you. tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. So um, I definitely wanted to address that. I asked, you know, about, you know, saying, well, I can't come. There were maybe a couple, three yeah. people, and then someone else we know personally mm -hmm. who said, you know, I have bills and I want to pay off mm. my bills before I before I come. But I just want to say this in Ghana. Uh, there's very little credit. A lot of things you pay in cash, your Social Security number doesn't matter here. Yeah. Your credit rating doesn't matter here. You um, don't leave that behind in America yeah, or wherever you're from. Wherever, wherever you're, you're from. from, it's um, yeah. So, you know, that's just something to consider. That's just food for thought, you know, and you let the most high lead you <laughs> in that area. We've gotten about three people who have mentioned Niger having a, uh, a Patreon yeah. or a PayPal account set up. And we really talked about that because you can yeah, actually talk you know about what? that it's more. Really, yeah, it's really interesting because... I really started this channel and I'm doing this channel really primarily just to help others to right. get the word out, get information out, things that people maybe would want to know. Um, to kind of be, even though there's a lot of videos on Ghana, I get it, but it's right. always good to hear from different perspectives, different people's experiences. Right. So this is, you know, from Nye's, from my personal experience, mm -hmm. but I just wanted to just you know, just really kind of share that with other people, you know, so that really, so it really wasn't a goal of mine for any financial, you know, gain or, you right. know, fame or notoriety or anything, anything like that. It was just really just to help, you know, my brothers and sisters, right. you know, from the diaspora and even, you know, some on the continent, as, on the continent well, as well, you know, mm -hmm. um, because I have a passion for helping others, you know, and sometimes that is priceless. I never really thought yeah. about patron and, and, and PayPal. I never really thought about that before. So mm -hmm. when, you know, I got a, a couple of comments and DMs about it, I was kind of like, oh, OK, you know, but mm -hmm. it really wasn't a thought of mine. Right. I don't know. Right. Maybe, maybe you. What do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> what Why do, do we, you guys do we, think? I was like, what do you guys think? What do you think? think? Really? Because we want to hear. Family members we ask, know. you know, what is your opinion? You know, yeah. what do you think? Because I know when she started, she wasn't even thinking about becoming monetized. I wasn't. Okay, not she at all. wasn't. She was like, you know, I just want to just get this information out, and and I just want to do what the Most High is really kind of leading me to because do with the channel. Because he led me to do this channel because I actually went into prayer before I started yeah, it. Yeah, you did. You know, I was kind of asking him, what should I, what should I do? You know, to what should I do? You I know, intern right. for a for a company out here of. of fashion company out here and after my internship I was kind of like okay where do I go from here what do I do you know and kind of he led me to 
doing this on YouTube. Because right. I never thought about even being on YouTube, to be quite honest right. with you. She just right. dropped in my spirit. This is something that you are supposed to do. Right, because she was like a searching, you know, for advice. I even contacted a friend of mine that you guys, some of you guys might, might, might know, uh, Dr. Mumbi Siraki. And she gave her advice on what she should do. She gave her some advice. And, and um, there were different people that, you know, just kind of, because she was really, where do I and go with I go it? With, what do I yeah. do? So, you know, to suffice to say, mm -hmm. the, the money wasn't really a, a paramount thing. Um, but I don't know. It, I don't know. So okay. we're asking what yeah. you guys think mm -hmm. about that. You know, if she should you know, have a PayPal or a Patreon. Mm. Cause I do know that the most high might put on somebody's heart cause he's done that with us, right. you know, so into whatever, but I don't know. So, so we'll see guys. We'll see <laughs> about that one. You want to say this to young people out there, especially young people, actually young people f uh, from the diaspora and young people on the continent. Young people from the diaspora, do not be afraid to come. No, okay? I'm a young person. All right, do I'm not here. be afraid to come. <laughs> don't think that there's nothing for you here because there, there is. There is, don't believe but that. But you have other people that are coming here to get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but don't think that there is nothing here for you because there really, really is. So that's really the big lie and misconception, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with kind of, I would say us as black people, some of but us. I do want to say this to young people out there, especially young people, actually young people f uh, from the diaspora and young people on the continent. Young people from the diaspora, do not be afraid to come. No, okay? I'm a young person. All right, do I'm not here. be afraid to come. <laughs> don't think that there's nothing for you here because there, there is. There is, don't believe but that. But you have other people that are coming here to get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but... Don't think that there is nothing here for you because there really, really is. So that's really the big lie and misconception, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with kind of, I would say, us as black people, some of us, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like, I mean, we we witnessed it when we moved here right. you know a lot of our friends and family you know were kind of like oh you know why are you why are you going there it was so kind of, yeah so we were, we were trying to be you know supportive but they didn't understand right you they know did. they didn't really quite fully understand really the process and really what it is being here of course there was only really one person that understood and someone made a comment about this um the person that understood she said you know what you remind me of abraham that you're going someplace you know nothing about. <laughs> the Most High is just telling you, just go, and you're going. So, and that's probably pretty much yeah, what we did. That to my beautiful young people that are on this continent, this is your season. Yes. This is your season. And it's very, very important that you seize this season. You, you know, we're with the initiative that we're working with. We're working with young people. We're working with young people because I love working with, like, with young people. I had a nonprofit in the States and I worked with young people and they're just the pulse. They're the life. That's where all the fresh new ideas are coming from. So with what we're doing, we're there to support to yeah. uplift, to motivate and be really that backbone if they need it to go ahead and say what you need to say. Exactly. That voice, your voice, is very important. And don't like, like you said, you know some older people that are... I know some, some gray-headed fools. Yeah. I really, really do. And I will say even with Nye, there are times when I go to her and I ask her, what do you think? And Niger comes up with some... She, I try. <laughs> she, she actually has a lot of wisdom and... Sometimes when I'm kind of, my meter might be off a little bit, hers is right on. So, so I yeah. listen so to it's her. Like, so don't let anybody steal your voice. I don't care what anybody says. No. If you're passionate about what you're doing and really kind of wanting to make a change for not only yourself, but for your children, for your children's children, right. for future generations, don't let anybody take that from you and seize that moment. Right. You know, because like Messiah said in a video that I did with our conversation, right. you know, the elders have to act respectably. Right. You know, just because you're older, it takes respect to get respect. It does. You know, it so really does. I, and yeah. I know that's like a Western <laughs> kind of feeling. And I know that's maybe even a new concept yeah. for some people here on the continent. But 
you you respect your elders of there. Of course you do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, of course you do that. I taught her to mm -hmm. do that. You know, but at the same time, you have to act respectably as an elder. Right. You know, I don't it's not a thing where, you know, I can cut up and do whatever, but you have to keep respecting me. No. no. It's what? it's your season. You're the pulse. You're really the pulse of this continent. You're the pulse. Mm -hmm. And when you become very aware of that, I know there are some that are, mm -hmm. that some do have a voice, but these are for the, this is kind of for the ones who, yeah. who are a little stifled in that way. You're important. Your ideas are important. You're vital to this continent. The Most High, as she said, the Most High doesn't have all you young people here for no reason at all. Things don't just happen by accident. No. They no. happen for a purpose. So the older ones are being moved out because the younger ones have to take their place and get your get your stuff back. Exactly. Okay, get your content exactly. back. Exactly. I just want to thank you guys so much for you know for the warm reception, warm comments and DMs that I've received. And um, please, you know, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share. Please share. This please information share with this others. information. There was one comment that we got, and I'm sorry I don't have your name offhand, but you said that you shared this with your sister. You shared, I think it was the last video or maybe it was a video before that with your sister because your sister really needed to hear it. And, and that's what we're talking about. Share it with people so they can hear it, so it can maybe impact their lives. And, you know, so we're, we're, we're a family, we're a community. Yes. So, you know, let's, I believe in, get, like you said, mm -hmm. helping each other. And that's what that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So I thank the most high for you guys. Please stay blessed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.